Hello. Oh, hang on. <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I'm so sorry. Ah, nobody's here yet anyway. <sighs> so, yes, I thought tonight play a little Sonic Mania. Um, been playing so much of Odyssey. I want to give it a break. So I uh, just thought that we'd actually show off a um, an example of Hang on, I gotta turn that down. Okay. That should be good, right? Alright, yeah, that's perfect. So, here we go. We're gonna get this gravy train rolling. Do, 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 do. Oh man, this music. This music's so good. We're gonna watch this animation first. Our boy Tyson has worked really hard on this. I think that's his name. Let me see. Yeah, Ty Tyson S. Yeah, nice. Do 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 do. Oh yeah, Sonic Mania. Such a great, such a great game. In fact, it's such a great game that it re-sparked, single-handedly re-sparked my interest in this series. I wouldn't have picked up Sonic Forces had it not been for this game. I would not have installed and bought um, the Genesis, the official Genesis emulator on Steam with um, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, as well as Sonic 2. I wouldn't have downloaded Sonic 1 on my phone, so Sega, if you just want to hear a testimony from a low-life nobody on Twitch of about how giving people with passion, you know, the opportunity to make these games, is that it can really affect the quality and value of a franchise. Mm. I got Hamburger Helper tonight. Oh my god. And I'm not even trying to be funny. Yesterday, we had chili dogs, which, you know, anybody who's a Sonic fan knows how lame of a joke that was. Uh. I know you guys can hear my lighter, but I don't give a fuck. So we're uh, gonna just start a a new game here. We're just gonna do like a <coughs> cool one from the beginning. So let's see here. Off mania. Should we have knuckles with us, or do we want tails? Tails or knuckles? Uh. Yes. Yeah, we'll go with tails. That way we can fly. All right. God, I wish I could cut this. Uh, <laughs> skip this cutscene. I was gonna say cut this skip scene. Oh, I'm retarded. I'm. I'm a low intellect person. I got hamburger helper. So it's alright.
Oh uh, yeah, here we go. An actual fun Sonic game. Yeah, but like I said, this uh, this game reignited, man, my passion for the Sonic series. I haven't been into the Sonic series since the Adventure series, but thanks to ever since this game's announcement, I've gone back, rediscovered the classic games, went back, played them all, uh, emulated. Uh, and yeah, don't judge me. I emulate. Give me a break. We all emulate. All PC savvy guys emulate. Sorry. Um, I've emulated all the Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. Obviously, it wasn't, you know, the proper way of playing Sonic 1 or 2. I didn't play them with mods. I played them the old fashioned way. GameCube originals. Well, you know, for Sonic 2 at least. Even though they're none, none of them are original on GameCube. Uh, that's how I played them, and that's how I pl that's how I played them when I was a kid. So went back, replayed them, loved it. The only game that I can't seem to get my hands on is Unleashed, and that's because it's a console exclusive game on old last gen hardware, and I ain't rebuying a goddamn PS3 to play that game. And it still runs like crap; like it runs horribly on consoles. If they just if they just want to run it to PC like they did Generations. And that's another thing, Generations. I didn't play Generations when it came out. I had no, absolutely no interest. But after Mania, after Mania's announcement, I got whipped up into the Sonic phrase. Sonic Fray. And I went back and I checked it out. And once you know it, it was a great game. It's an absolutely great game. Actually, now that I remember it, I did play Sonic Generations when it first came out. I had it on the Xbox 360. I remember that. My God, I see. I only remember having it on PC, and I did eventually get a PC this last year. I bought it on Steam. So, yeah. So yeah, I, I guess I guess I did still buy Sonic games before the Mania release. I think it was because everybody just had such great things to say about it online. Honestly, that's that's pretty much it. Everything I heard was like, oh, they did it. It's great. And I played it, and when you know, it was great. And then we played Forces, which we all know how that stream went. It's how what it is. It's not a bad game, but it's not, you know, Sonic Generations level of good, or nowhere near as close as good as Sonic Mania. So, uh... Here we go, boss one. So, I don't know, it's just, it's, you know, it's strange. Sonic Forces is such a oddity. Everything about that game, everything about that game's marketing, everything about that game's, the, the choices made behind the scenes, and the, the quotes from the developers, and the produce, the head of the Sonic team, it is so, like, just confusing. Sonic Mania was just like, you knew what it was, it was a fan project backed by Sega that wanted to invoke the old days of the Genesis classics that made Sonic an icon. Boom. Easy. Forces, on the other hand, was like, we're going with a serious story, uh, we don't want to... And then the producer of the thing was like, you know, we want to continue... What was the exact quote? I forget. He said, we want to continue or progress the idea of what a Sonic the Hedgehog game is. They want to, and because this was going back when he was asked about, would they ever go back to a, the adventure series, you know, style of game. And he said, no, we're not interested in going back because we will only want to progress what a Sonic the Hedgehog game is. And that came off as like a really snide, like delusional answer. Because now, like, I'm completely judging everything that man makes now as like, definitive proof of what he thinks Sonic the Hedgehog should be. And Forces just proves that he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. Like, he does not, like, I, that, it's such a shame because Sonic, uh, Forces, or Sonic Team, I should say, um, is very talented, you know? And they always get shit on because of the bad decisions. And I forget his name right now, and it's best I probably don't say his name because I'm shitting on him. But, um, he is so, oh god, it's like, and then... <laughs> and then, um, 
and I don't know if you guys heard about this, in Sonic, in Japan, Sonic Forces got a marketing, um, slow, a marketing, a marketing, like, uh, deal going with Hooters. Hooters, the, the restaurant. You know, it's kind of like family-friendly, like, strip, you know, like, like, strip house. Well, anyway, completely, the main point is that it was Hooters, and it's just... Absolutely inappropriate for Sonic the Hedgehog. I mean, that would be like if it, it, I mean, that, that would be like if Mickey Mouse paired with Playboy because they both got the ears. You know what I mean? I don't know what the hell Hooters has to do with Sonic, and and I certainly don't know why they did it. They probably did it because I mean, maybe it was a maybe it was like a genius marketing gimmick, and they knew that. If they, if they, something so bizarre like that, it would get people talking about Sonic Forces, because it did. It got people talking for, like, 24 hours. It was kind of like they needed to get, like, because when, like, for when, like, for example, when Odyssey was being shown off, they revealed Mara's nipples, and that was, like, that was, like, YouTube's, you know, that was, like, social media's, like, f flavor of the month. It was just, like, all people talked about it. And I feel like they were, like, god damn, they just, they just, like, got so much advertising out of Mario Odyssey just by showing Mario's nipples. So they said, well, Sonic doesn't have nipples, so what can we do? Well, how about we just contact the, the restaurant that is literally named after nipples, and we'll put uh, Sonic stuff in it, and 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 people will talk about it. Like I, I have no proof, but I feel like that's probably what they did. That crazy, crazy developer of theirs probably thought we need to do the nipple shock, which is when you show up a character's nipples for the first time, and social media goes crazy. We saw it with Mario. We saw it with Link. Again, it might be just contained to the video game world because. Or not just the video game world, just to certain characters. Sonic's always had his shirt off, so yeah, they couldn't they couldn't do the nipple shock, but the next best thing was contacting the restaurant named after nipples. It, and getting that associated with Sonic. So that had to be it. Like that had to be the reason why they uh, had a sponsor or a uh, advertising deal with Hooters. Because I can't... Re oh, fuck. I can't think of any other reason. I mean, that has to be it. That has to be... That has to be it. That's it. <sighs> oh, man. I love this game. See, like... And I'm not a Sonic hater. I really, really like Sonic... I said this in my uh, Forces stream that nobody watched, that um, I, I grew up with Sonic and Mario. I, I'm kind of like a... I have no choice but to support them, because they're, they're like pillars of my childhood. So, it's just easy to like Mario. It's hard to like Sonic in this day and age. And Mania made it just, just that much easier to come back and like the blue blur. Oh, hell, yeah, since Mania's release, I also got into watching the Sonic shows, for Christ's sake. Like, I watched Sat AM, I've been watching Boom, which is great. I talked about that in Forces a bit. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Boom TV series. Just a shame that that game was so shit. <laughs> like, turned so many people off, and that I swear if they would have debuted the show first, like... If they would have debuted the show first and then the game... Oh, man, there probably would have been a lot of hype behind that game. But it would have, oh, it would have been such a disappointment because, like, if it was just, like, that game as it was, and we were used to the show before the game, like, that the, the show and game are so totally different. Like, the show is kind of smart and witty and really well written, and the game is none of that. So, it, I guess maybe it is best that the game came out first because then it took everybody's expectations to ground fucking zero. And... Maybe that just let the show to like do whatever it wanted because that show 
to some pretty ridiculous stuff, like... Or at least it's attempting to now. It was pretty tame in the first couple episodes. But man, Season 2's been great. Season 3 is about the... Well, it's over. Ne it's Season 2 just ended, I'm sure. Season 3 will be next year some sometime. Either next year, 2019. I'm sure it'll be next year. Yeah, that, that show is made so cheaply, I'm sure. 3D animation is just so much more cheaper to make. It's a lot easier, it's a lot faster. Yeah. That's why Rick and Morty took so long. It's 2D. It's just the curse of having a 2D show. Not that I fucking know anything about the television market. <sighs> Gosh, but is there anything more cancerous at the moment than the entertainment industry? Like, for once, like, the entertainment industry, like, for once, the video game industry does not look like the worst fucking, like, anti-consumer fucking industry out there at the moment. Now it looks like the the entertainment industry. Everybody's coming out that everybody's molesting each other and everybody's just kind of, you know, drugging each other. It's, it's, it's like, my God. And it's hilarious because it's the same people who were, like, the first to, like campaign, if you know what I mean. And they're just molesting each other. Like, Louis C.K. was a big shock to me. Like, I... I don't know what to think. I, like, I, I really don't know, because the story about him is... It's so ridiculous. Like, you'd think that he has, like, mental issues. Like, and that just is, like, come on. Louis was, like, the most grounded fucking comedian. And to hear what he did, it's just, like, you kidding me. So, yeah. So where was I going about this? Oh yeah, so the game industry ain't looking too bad. I mean, like, the game industry may be full of big companies that just absolutely uh, hate their consumer base, and they do. Like, you're, like that, I hate to say it, but the industry absolutely despises its consumers. Like, they have words for them. Uh, whales... Well, I think Whale was actually the biggest one. I can't think of anything else. Someone who spends a lot of money, like, on microtransactions. Like, somebody who spends, uh, like, $50 on every Overwatch update on loot boxes. They'll be known as... They're, they're a whale. They're a big catch, if you get my... If you know what I mean. So, yeah, I mean, it's like... Uh, but, yeah, so we're not looking too bad. Because at least, it, you know, we may... The video game industry may be ran by corrupt... Horrible businessmen. But at least they're not drugging us and literally raping us. Like Hollywood is. So that's good. Right? Right. Okay, so yeah, so uh, this is Poyo Poyo. It was cute the first time I played. Now I'm just kind of fucking annoyed I gotta play Poyo Poyo every single time I want to play this game. Shit. I gotta use the D-pad on this. But yeah, anyway, it's not that bad. It's fun. Poyo Poyo's fun. But, um, you know... Neat little throwback to the, um, to the, uh, what was it, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean. It's cool. It's fun. It was, I laughed the first time I saw this. I, I had a good chuckle, and now it's like, every time I play fucking Chemical Plant Zone, we gotta slow down and play Poyo Poyo. And I know it doesn't take that long, but it, 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 come on. Come on. Come on. I'll do it that way. Still be able to get that yellow if there is one. Oh, look at that. And I know this isn't even the way you're supposed to play. You're supposed to, like, plan ahead, stack them up so that you get these big epic combos, you know? And it's like, uh, I, I just, I don't care. I'd, uh, I'd rather just wait Robotnik off, like, out, who just randomly places his, his, uh, Poyos, or whatever the hell they're called. Just gotta wait him out. Wait him out. 
Wait. Get out. Yay, and we're done. All right. Awesome. Let's go. Let's get the heck H out of chemical plant. Oh, God, I missed that. How did I, how did I miss that? Jesus Christ. Oh man. So this is uh, Studioopolis. This is the uh, best level of the game. Uh, uh, and once you know, it's one of the new ones again. A uh, absolutely boneheaded decision made by the the lead at the Sonic team that the Sonic Mania developers could not put could not put too many new stages in. There had to be more old stages than there were new. So, we get, what is it, like, eight old stages and four. Only fucking four new ones. And once you know it, all the new ones are, like, the best ones in the game. Once you know it. The reimaginings of the classics are great. The whole game is great. But the best levels in the games are the new ones! The ones that these talented Mania devs, that these awesome people, were able to create from scratch, without any limitations. Anyway, that's just more- I know, and I'm not gonna be the first one to say this, and I won't be the last. The only thing I want for Sonic Mania 2 is just- just let them make an actual full, new, original game, and don't let them shoehorn in Green Hill Zone for the fifth fucking time. Well, I, if I'm gonna start swearing, I really should mark my channel as mature content. But then I, I miss all the kitties. That sounded really weird. <laughs> that sounded really weird. That sounded really fucking weird. Holy shit. Oops. Those little flying bugs. They re uh, remind me of the uh, little flying bots from Half-Life 2 that take your picture. Maybe it's because they both fly around and take your picture. Maybe that's that, uh, you know, maybe that's why they're robots, maybe? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. But I got another one. Hey. Whee. Boing. Bing bing yahoo! Oh wait, we're not playing Mario. Spin, spin, spin! Dash, spin. Can't believe I lost my shield. I'm so pissed. Alright! Here we go! <laughs> I am one of those people that try jumping on the missiles. And don't you, don't you lie, I know you, you did too. Until you watched Cybershell's video and he showed you that you can actually just roll into them. Like so. Yeah, forget it. I always try jumping on it. I don't know why I try jumping on it. In fact, I don't know why we should ever try jumping on anything in this game. You roll into a ball, son. That's, that is how you attack. It's so much easier with the drop dash, which I haven't been using that much, um... Which is a shame, because it is an amazing addition to Sonic's repertoire of moves. Oh my gosh. Ah! God. Gotta be careful, I got... Six rings. Because I don't think they... Oh, never mind. They do give it to me. They usually don't give you rings in the last cycle. Whatever. Woo! 
Nice. Boosh! I didn't even know that that was there. Holy crap. I was just kind of bouncing around. And shoosh! Nice. Let's see if we can do that again. Oh no! Oh well, we'll go this way. Oh, darn. Oh, what? Yeah, when in doubt, just hold down, guys. Like, if you're not sure which way to, you know, because I see that in a lot of videos on Sonic Mania. It's, uh, it's like, which way do you push when you go upside down? Just push down, numb nuts. Just push down. Sonic will roll into a ball, and the momentum will take you where you need to go. Okay, is this where I'm supposed to go? I can't remember. Hang on. This level is like a maze. Which is good. I think I'm going the wrong way. Hang on, let me check. Yes. Alright. There we go. Just through that thingy. Through that hole. Through that wall, son. Ain't that great. And look, with precise platforming, you can jump on those lamps before they fall and try to get a camo several. See? This game is good. You could almost say... It's better that the actual Sonic team managed to create in over 20 years. Now, I know it's only a 2D game, and 3D games require more thought, development time, and ambition. But I don't know. There seems to be ample supply of that here, and I just feel like it would translate well over to 3D. I don't know what Christian Whitehead's... Uh, background in 3D is. I don't remember ever hearing anything about him having a 3D background. But you know what? Something tells me, and this is just a hunch, that if he was given the opportunity to completely reinvent the Sonic 3D wheel again, like Sonic Team has time to try to do over and over and over again, I feel like whatever it is that he would come up with, or the Sonic Mania team would come up with, and to, you know, together, would be probably, you know, it was, there would be its, there would be its critics, but something tells me it would be, like, the closest we ever got to a proper 3D Sonic, you know, other than the unofficial ones, because like I said in my Forces stream, Sonic Utopia, son, check that out, Sonic Utopia, that is where it's at, just saying. Just saying. Oh my goodness. Sonic Forces is... Where it's not at. But Utopia is where it's at. And Mania is where it's at. There's good Sonic... I mean, Sonic can work in 3D. He works so well in 2D. We already know this. That's not the problem. It's... It's 3D. It's that Z-axis that's that's putting everything to pits. I don't even know if that's a saying. I just... I don't even really care. Okay, so right here, all I'm doing is holding down. And Sonic's gonna build up some momentum. And I'm gonna launch off like a crazy man. Ain't that cool? I know that's cool. You can't tell me that's not cool. And I completely missed a chance to get another emerald there. But you know what? Whatever. I don't care. I got things to do. Things to see. We've gotta run. Gotta lose all my rings. Gotta pick up my rings. Gotta keep running. Could've slowed down there and explored. Ooh, looks like we're going back anyway. Aw, oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Again, right there. All I did was hold down. Just holding down. Gonna jump on these. See if we can get somewhere neat. Something tells me it's gonna... Yes! It's gonna give us a chance at lottery. This is awesome. 
this is just another great mechanic that, uh, just one of the few great new mechanics of New Sonic Mania, because again, even though this game's great, it was forced to shoe in, shoehorn in old mechanics and ideas and gimmicks, you know. Because, uh, what's his face? Again, this is another great new boss. So much, it's not necessarily hard, especially when you're playing as Sonic. It's a bit harder when you're playing as Knuckles, because it forces you to play by the boss's uh, rules. See? But I can jump high, I can hit him just at that. Just at that perfect time that he comes down and I'm able to hit him. Oh, here, Tails, get me up there. Boom. Cool. Excelente. And alas, we must leave the interesting and new for the tired and old. I'm only half half joking. Again, all the reimagined 2D stages are great. They really are. Tons of fun, and Flying Battery is one of my favorites. I like how this, this stage doesn't necessarily um, convey speed. But this is more about taking it slow and using speed to your advantage to overcome these obstacles. It's neat. Just, you know, breaks down, because uh, Studioopolis is, you know, depending on how you want to play the game, can take you forever to get through, or, you know, take you a few minutes to get through, so. And this one, I think, you know, even when speed running, uh, this zone, this uh, flying battery. Oh, oh, I screwed up so bad. Uh, I always do that. I always do that with the with the uh, fire shield. I always try to press my luck. Oop. Just gonna keep going. Coins. Keep moving. Ooh, watch those mines. Oh, there goes tails. <laughs> this part's a bit uh, can be a bit tricky if you don't know what you're doing. But once you're at this part, you can like just hold, hold right. There'll be spikes there to stop you. And, yeah, there was another way to come, but we went up this way. Well. Skadoosh! Sorry, that's Kobe's thing. I just, I love it. It's so, it's, it, it's so perfect for playing Sonic. It's just like, one, once you blast off, you just say Skadoosh. It feels great. Get you real into the moment. Shoot. I always, I, you know, I never, I don't even know why I even get that shield. I always lose it at that jump. Because I'm really, oh god, I'm bad. Alright, this part's awesome. Get to swing off these things. Oh, and you don't have to time Sonic, okay? Because I tried doing this at first. I tried, like, hitting the button right at the time where he's, like, facing. All you gotta do is hit either left or right. It doesn't matter where he's at. As long as you're hitting left or right, he will go that direction that you want. Okay, and since we didn't have the electric shield, we gotta keep going. Oh, wait, uh, I want to go up there. Come on, Tails. Take me up there, buddy. Boop. I 
Ah. Oh, I forgot about that. Ah, uh, <laughs> like a pro. Oh, jeez. Oh, I hate this part. Perfect. First time I was playing this because again, I, I never up and you know, never played the Sonic games, you know, up until Sonic Mania. So I wasn't that aware of flying battery zone, but I didn't know that you could use these to blow up that part of the wall or the floor. And I was stuck. I was stuck for a good couple minutes. Seconds, maybe. Uh, okay, this boss isn't so bad. It's the next one. Next one's a pain in the ass. Pain in the spiky blue ass. What am I doing, Tails? Get up there, damage it. Yeah, that's right, Tails. Get up, Tails. Do it again. Get up there. Get up there. Quit messing around. Get it. Get it. Get it, Tails. Hit it. Hit it, Tails. We'll hit it together. No, we won't. Don't make me do all the work. All right. You get an E. Oh, we got a new one. Sorry if you can hear me eating. But you know what? Hamburger Hopper. All right, let's see. What else can we talk about? Mm. Think. Well, I mean, we pretty much discussed everything about Sonic at the moment. You know, Sonic's future has always kind of been up in the air. He's uh, sometimes he's real up. Times he's rolled down. This certainly was a very high up for. Whoops! Totally missed that. Was a very high high point for Sonic this this game. Um, and forces was certainly not a low low like 06 or Boom, but it's very disappointing. Very disappointing, especially after Sonic Generations, which. Which, you know, I'm not, I don't have to go over again. Like, it's just beating a dead horse. Beating a dead uh, hedgehog. Dead horse the hedgehog, my um, original OC. I, I don't even know how to get those. I, I've never been able to get those. I don't know where you go. And I know it's probably a really cool secret because there's like a lot of treasure in that little room. Whoa! I'm afraid about this. Here we go. Oh, I always screw up there. Whee! God, the level design in this is just so great. Again, here I go! Like, I was... You know, just holding down, and I'm fine. Oh my goodness, I couldn't even see that egg. Why? Why did I come in here again? There's to lose on my life. There are rings. Yes, that's right. I forgot. Ah, we'll just go this way. See, that's the great thing about Sonic is that uh, it. A, uh, or Sonic Mania, and the good Sonic games. They, uh, they, uh, they're easy, you know, at first. They're, you know, pretty... You get blast through them pretty fast. But, uh, it re encourages replay, multiple replays, because there's all these higher, um, you know, places to the... There's uh, higher, what am I trying to say, platforms in most games where, um... Is, you know, is either easier or there's like coins and other, you know, lives, and it all rewards just good play. You know, it just rewards you knowing the physics of the game and and all whatnot. So, 
Yeah, I mean, I, I gosh, I have four complete uh, completed save files here, all with, you know, all the Chaos Emeralds, and this is just a no-save. That's why we started at the beginning and without any Chaos Emeralds. But, um, you know, it's still just so much fun. Oh, I screwed up. Totally forgot about that part. Totally forgot. That was the player's fault. That was not Sonic's fault. That wasn't bad level design. That was my fault. Okay? Take a little responsibility for yourselves. Where the heck am I supposed to go here? I'll get them. Whee! This little guy's from uh, Mushroom Hill. Again, I'm super, 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 super duper sad that, ah, that Mushroom Hill didn't make it into Sonic Mania, because, you know, if you're gonna... And I know why it didn't, because Green Hill was the mandatory green level. You know, the, the in Mushroom Hill was Sonic and Knuckles, you know, opening Green Hill area. But gosh darn, it's so, so much better than, like, Green Hill, Spring Hill, Emerald Hill, whatever the hell. Whatever the hell. Oh, I hate this boss. I hate this boss so much. It's he's so tedious to fight, and I just... <laughs> I hate him! Although I'm not doing too bad right now, but... You know, mark my words. I'll, uh... Get him! Can I bounce him? Over! No. I'm not even gonna give him a chance to attack, because you know what, seriously? Oh no, I could've hit him again! Woo! Nice. Alright, now, come on. Yes! Oh, that's not it? What the heck? I could've sworn it was... I was... I was did it. Oh, don't get crushed! That is the most infuriating thing when you get crushed by those darn spikes because you're not paying attention. Ugh! Yay! We did it! I guess he wasn't that bad, but that's only because I, like, played this boss a thousand times. First time playing this, I had to restart Battery Hill Zone, like, five, six times because I kept losing to that darn boss. So, see, five minutes and thirty seconds. You know, we were going through this at a moderate pace, and that's that's quite long for a 2D Sonic level. Don't... <laughs> that's long for any Sonic level. Ah, uh, Press Garden, a new and best, no, not best, but it, one of the newer, or one of the newer, one of the new stages, and again, one of the highest quality, of the highest quality. Hmm. Hamburger meat, chopped up, you know, skillet, fried up on a skillet, you know, ground it up. Mix that with some cheese sauce, and some noodles, a little bit of salt, a little bit of seasoning. I'm telling you, man. That is delish. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, sirree, Bob. It was good. As a matter of fact, you guys are going to wait a second because I got to go get more of this. Mm. So, uh, when I return, we will continue on with Press Gardens and we'll have fun. So uh, stick around. I'll be right back after I get some food, and then we'll uh, we'll keep playing Sonic Friggin' Mania.
All right. We're back. I don't know why we keep saying we. It's just me. But, you know, whatever. It's all good. <sighs> Hope everybody had a great dinner. Just listening to this. Because... I'll tell you what, wait a minute, what the heck, I just noticed on Twitch, I am, I could have sworn, I changed this to Sonic Odyssey, <laughs> Sonic Mania, I did, it's just, just ruining, ruining my, um, tried to ruin my Twitch career, which hasn't even really begun at all. Not even a little bit. Please update. Please. <sighs> Sonic Mania. Done. Okay. There we go. Finally. Sorry. Anyway. Let's keep going. Sorry, that was really lame. That was so super duper lame. Boop. So, uh, for anybody who's just joining us, we're uh, playing through Sonic Mania, obviously. We've just been talking about the... Uh, the current Sonic situation, the, uh, the climate of the uh, franchise. For those who, you know, just may be viewing from an outsider's perspective on this whole Sonic Hedgehog fiasco, this, this whole Sonic the Hedgehog business, um, it might be... What the hell am I saying? For those who are looking in on the Sonic the... Hedgehog franchise from an outsider's perspective maybe as confused as to what I'm saying don't worry everyone's confused as to what I'm saying even I'm confused as to what I'm saying but let me finish from an outsider's perspective it may not matter much to how this Sonic Hedgehog is doing but for those who care about the franchise like our boy Kobe and Cyber who I really love and dig and I'm actually going to credit Cybershell with being the um, YouTube personality that finally pushed me into wanting to start a viral quote-unquote presence. And I know it's I'm just literally just starting out, and it's going to be years. Years before I even get like 10 viewers, and you know what? I'm okay with that. Because that means I'll get to... You know, meet people, meet other people who, you know, have common interests like me. That's why I'm, you know, hoping to build a Nintendo audience. Hoping that Nintendo fanboys come flocking to my channel to get their Nintendo fix. But, um, yeah. Whoops-a-daisy. At least I got some rings back. Um. Huh. Did I miss a button? Yes, I did. Ooh, double kill. Ooh, those are spikes. Oh, and you may not, uh, like, be wondering, Well, why, what's the, the... You keep saying this is a good level. What the hell's the theme? Boxes? No, you ignoramus. It's actually a printing press. And if you look in the background, and I know it's kind of hard to see with your old man eyes, um... They're actually printing off wanted posters for Sonic, because this, I guess, is run by, or was commissioned by, Dr. Robotnik. Ah! Sorry, I didn't mean to scream. Uh, it's just I hate making stupid mistakes. No, just kidding. I live a whole stupid mistake. <laughs> My whole life up to this point has been a stupid mistake. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not the post. Bing! 
bong, bing, bong, bing, bing, bong. Man. Can never have too many rings. Where's more rings? I need more rings. Bounce pad. I actually like Roger Craig Smith as Sonic. He's uh I think he's really cool and he's a cool guy. Uh he's streamed with Aaron Weber before. And he likes to poke fun at uh some of the Sonic things that we like to poke fun at and he uh <laughs> oh man, I'll try to link it to the video um, if I end up uploading this to YouTube, but there's this awesome clip of uh, him playing Sonic Adventure 3, and he's running, it's City Escape, and he's running through City Escape, and Omni Chow comes on the screen and, you know, starts spewing off, you know, tutorial dialogue, and Roger Craig Smith looks at him and says, what is that annoying blue thing? And then he paused and he said, oh, that's Sonic. And from that day forth, I was sold on Roger, Roger Craig Smith. I was sold on him. He is in on the joke, you guys. He knows about the Sonic memes. He embraces it. And that being said, he's it's Sonic Boom, seriously. Like, I can't, like, recommend that show enough. Like, I know the game sucked. I know it sucked so bad. But I'm telling you, it's not... That, like, uh, it's, the show is great. The, sh the video game did it such a disservice because the show is just fantastic. They just ended, like, even season two. Like, it's usually known for being funny, but season two's ending fight scene with Sonic and Shadow, you know, like, in Metal, like, that was pretty good. Like, I was not expecting a, like, ten minute long fight scene between Sonic, Shadow, and Metal from Sonic frickin' Boom, of all things. But you know what? The show's good. It makes me laugh. And that's all I really all it really needs to do. Best part is the show knows it's garbage because it always makes fun of itself and it makes fun of its fandoms and it makes fun of the people who made Sonic and it makes fun of everything. It just takes the trash out on everybody on the Sonic spectrum and it's great. I mean, that's not the focus of the show. But whenever they can try, or whenever they can, they do make that the focus. Hmm. Alright, press cards. Here we go. Wanted to get those rings. You can never have too many rings! Oh, 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 snow cap. Or ice cap. God. Whatever the hell it's called. Seriously, if, like, we're gonna, like, if you wanna, like, put me on the, like, the level of Sonic fan, I'm nowhere near Cyber Shell and Kobe Money's, um, love for Sonic. But I'm not. You know, like an Aaron Byrne who just completely hates it, doesn't give it a chance. I would say I'm in the middle. Like, Ten being a fanatic Sonic fan who wants to devote his entire viral career to Sonic content. And a One being Game Grumps-esque, like Sonic was never good. I would probably be like a Five or a Six. So, yeah, nowhere near as the passion as Cyber or Kobani Mani. Um... Also, Kobe, I really hope you find your dad someday, dude. That sucks. Anyway, yeah, and Cyber, our our resident lore master of um, Sonic. So, and I know he's proud of that title. He worked so hard to acquire it. Oh, speed shoes. I 
love that face he makes. Whee! Oh gosh. Oh yeah, one of the best boss fights in the game. Shinobi robot. Shinobi heavy. No, I've never played um, whatever this guy is referencing, that game, because I know he's referencing a certain Ninja Genesis game. Shinobi, I think. Oh my god, it is Shinobi. Jesus Christ, I even said it too. Yeah, so that just proves how much of a, like, not a, like... Sega fanatic I am. I, I don't know jack shit. I'm a Nintendo guy. I just know Sonic. Oh god, I keep forgetting how to attack this guy. Yeah! Oh no! Curse you, Eggman! Start a speedway, son. Let's go. Let's do this. Whoa! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez Louise. See, I'm all out of steam. I'm not, I haven't. Oh, forgot. Leaf comes up. I'm all out of steam. I don't know what to talk about anymore. I pretty much talked all you can about Sonic Climate and the Sonic Boom. I guess we can talk about Sonic Boom some more. That'd be fun. I really like Sonic Boom. I haven't catched all of season two yet. I still have to watch, but I did catch the finale. Um, so that's cool. Uh, but I haven't watched all of season two. I've only watched a few, like, the first five episodes of Season 2, and considering there's, like, 70 or 80 of them. Yeah, so I'm I'm way behind. But, um, yeah, so I'll definitely be watching that when Season 3 comes rolling around. Bounce, jump. These little bugs are so annoying. Oh, I want that. Yes. Nice. Oh, I'm sorry. I've started it. The hamburger helper's coming back. Yeah.
jump. Miss. Oh, I got it. Nice. Yeah, so, like I said, with the Sonic Mania, I always so... You know, getting back into the Sonic franchise. Played, uh, Sonic CD, you know, and, uh... Nowhere, nowhere, nowhere near as good as Sonic 3 Knuckles. Like, I, I keep... Like, the only reason I played it is because everybody online is like, Oh, it's in close second place with Sonic 3 Knuckles for the, the, the best Sonic 2D game. Well, one, Mania is so much better than it, and two, Sonic, Sonic 3 and Knuckles is so much better than CD. I mean, you've got to come on. Give me a break. Sonic CD's level design by itself, like, I don't know what they were thinking. It looks like, the level design looks like it was somebody, like, made by somebody with crack. Like, they just had cocaine flowing through their systems, and they were just like, <gasps> Sonic! Oh man, oh man, oh man. Uh now that being said about Sonic CD, um, I, I wasn't a big fan of the level design, and I sure as hell didn't like the whole time-traveling mechanic. It just, I mean, maybe if the, the maybe if the des levels were designed with the, tri the time-travel uh, mechanic and with, like, let me re-say that. <clears throat> <clears throat> If Sonic CD's level design was complacent with the time traveling mechanic, it may have worked. But I swear to God, they implant they implemented that time travel mechanic and then made the levels so ridiculously like complicated with so many stops and walls and pits that it's it would be almost impossible most of the time to build up enough speed long enough to make uh to, you know, to time travel to the past. And that's another thing. There's three separate time periods. You only need to be in one. The past. Everything else is a waste. So you're usually in the past. You destroy the robot generator. And then you're in, you know, the good future for the rest of the uh, act. And it's... Okay, cool. God, this act is such a maze. I always forget where to go in this. Everything is so twist and turny. And you know, the Christian Whitehead re-release of Sonic City um, did its best to update it and, you know, make it run better, but it still didn't fix the the worst part of it was, was that damn time travel mechanic. The levels were still a mess and looked like, I mean, there's like, there's like rings in the walls. Like, I don't understand that. There's like unattainable rings unless, oh, wait a minute, unless... That's because the rings don't change position during the time periods, and they just, they're in the walls. Like, and then maybe in the, I don't know! I have no idea if that's how it was. I'm just, I'm trying to give it the benefit of the doubt. Anyway, yeah, I mean, I still played it, it's still fun, it's still Sonic, but... Could have done without the, uh, level design. Like, you think, you're looking at this, and you're like, oh my god, this is such a hodgepodge of, of, of... Uh, you know, <clears throat> courses and routes, and you're like, well, it was even worse than CD. Mania Team did a great job redesigning um, Stardust Speedway and uh, Metallic Madness, which, you know, I still can't believe they put two freaking things in from Sonic CD. The only reason I'm still salty about Mushroom Hill is because in the Sonic Generations OST, there is very clearly a Act 1, a classic and modern rendition of Mushroom Hill Zone. Meaning that at some point in that game's history, I think 
Mushroom Hill zone was um, it's supposed to be in the game. But clearly it got cut. And that is a shame because it's remixed like all of jo Sonic Generations music. It's a great! It's fantastic. Oh, hey, Metal. I just got done fighting you in forces. What are you still? What are you doing here? Dude, get away from me! Oh, thanks, buddy. You got those sickos away from me. What do you want to do with that finger? Yeah, <laughs> Sorry, I'll shut up so you can listen to the music. Uh, I never played, I never had a Game Gear, never touched it, never even saw one in live, like in person, but... This is apparently from the Game Gear. Sonic games. Boosh. Completely missed my opportunity to attack there. Nice. That took me first time playing this, and I know this is probably with everybody. I did not know how the hell to beat him. I was trying to, like, jump and catch the Silver Sonic guy, like, in the ball form while he jumps, and, like, knock that into metal, because I did it, like, once that way, and I was like, is that how you're supposed to do it? No, it took... I was an idiot, and I just didn't realize. And I see a lot of people do this. They have the, you know, a lot of reviewers online make this mistake when playing Sonic games. They try playing it like a traditional platformer and jumping on people's heads and all that, and not using the momentum and speed to its advantage. And uh, you know, I I used to be like that, and sometimes I do fall into that trap. But I'll tell you what, man, it's like once you get over that, and you start playing the game like it is. It is just like a blast. Oh, come on. Let's go! Ooh. Ooh, ooh! Yeah, and this, this part of the boss fight is so easy, because you, no matter what you do, if you get hit, you, you can just back up, use your invincibility frames, and pick up the um, rings before they disappear. So you're like, right here, I'll just back up, pick them up, before my invincible. Okay, just back up, pick them up. Oh, back up. Doesn't matter, we beat them. Ah! I missed it! No! There we go. Hydro City! Oh. Huh? Oh. No. There goes my mandatory life life lo lose of the of the uh, zone. Oh, come on. Better go up here. Yeah, get out of the water, son. Because we have choices in this game. We have alternative routes in this game, son. Again, just holding down. No need to hold left or right. Keep Sonic in that ball, and I just missed the opportunity to ride on a pagoda. But, oh well. Here's where I died before. So come on, give me a, give me a thing. 
Give me a thing. Oh, Christ. Give me it. Okay. Here we go. This part is so... Oh, <laughs> shit! Tails just drowned. Poor Tails. Out we go! Whoa! Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, living the high life. Oops, screwed it up. I'm like an idiot. So now we have to raise the water. You know. Make the stage not fun. Get me up there. Oh god, that was weird. No! Oh, I'm an idiot. <sighs> oh, I'm good. I still can't believe they removed the donkey clip. I was I wonder if they snuck that into the game without Sega knowing. And then once Sega found out, they were like, remove it! This right here, this little bubble, this is also from the Game Gear. Shoot! Again, I'm not completely 100% on that. Bloop, bloop. Boop, boop. It's Eggman. The egg man does what the egg can. Oh, I hate this part. I always feel like I'm gonna have to, um, screw up because of how slow I'm going. Oh, there goes Tails again. Oh, there goes my rings again. Oh, there goes my will to live again. Uh, come on, Eggman. Uh, 
There we go. Alright guys, I think we're gonna call that a night. I know we're not done with Hydra City, but uh, my stomach's kinda hurting. I gotta go take a nausea pill. So, um, we're gonna call it a night, and when we come back tomorrow, we'll start on Mirage Saloon Zone. So, until next time, guys, bye-bye.